Power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars. When man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew, Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael, Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert, Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer, pilot chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dredd's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Almost there. Captain's waiting for you. As soon as we get inside, you can remove your blindfold. You gotta understand, we don't usually allow visitors, even if they are heads of the resistance. Ah, no problem. Just as long as I can see his face when I tell him what this is all about. All right, you can take off the blindfold. Welcome to Power Base, Cypher. Nice. I can see why you keep the location of this place secret. If Dredd ever got his hands on all this stuff. The Nickel Tour comes later. You said you had something vital to discuss. Something that was so important you couldn't even trust the security at your own base. And now that you're here, what do you say we cut to the chase, hmm? Eden 2. You've heard of it? We've all heard of Eden 2. It's a legend. A myth. The world's a pretty sad place to live in, so people are looking for something better. Poof. Eden 2. If there were such a place, Dredd would have found it by now and flatten it. It's real, all right. Real as you. All right, let's say it is real. What's it got to do with us? For the past six months, there's been an underground railroad in existence. We've been using it to get people out of here and into Eden, too. Now, they agreed to the arrangement, but only if we acted in total secrecy. We couldn't even tell you, Captain. Go on. The escape route to Eden, too, is broken down into five segments. Each segment has one person in charge. No one knows the full route, in case someone's captured. Segment three, right in the center. We shut down last week. Permanently. Dread forces attacked. I don't think they even knew what it was. Only that it was a resistance operation. But with that part of the route shut down, we have to set up a new one. We got word to Eden too. Set up a rendezvous with one of their couriers. We need you to meet him. Now, now wait a minute. They insisted on you, Captain. You're known to them. They won't trust anyone else. Besides, they've picked a place no one would suspect. A place nobody but you and your team could enter and survive. Have you ever seen this contact from Eden 2? No. We deal through a special comlink. Have you ever been to Eden 2? If I had, I wouldn't be here. I mean, no one comes back from Eden 2. No one wants to. They said you might not believe me. So they gave me this. Said I should give it to you. Hawk, what is it? War dog insignia. Must have come from one of I's units. We're looking for Eden 2. Eden 2's a myth. We have a connection. Besides, it's the only place we've got left to go. What about the resistance? 
We need people of your experience if we're going to win this war. War's over, Hawk. We tried our best, it wasn't enough. All we want now is a little peace. Hawk, there's writing on the back. Dear Matt, we made it. Why? It's her handwriting, Captain. Cypher, you just bought a railroad. Database Journal 4710 Mark 15. Captain recording. We're on our way to a meeting with a representative from Eden 2. Still hard to believe it exists. And even harder to figure out how the contact can survive in the place we're going. Darktown. Intensive proton bombing during the Metal Wars left the environment changed, unlivable. Burn holes, acid fog, and God knows what else. Even with our power suits, it's going to be tough. Our only hope is to pick up the Eden contact signal beacon as fast as possible and get out before the environment affects us. Or Dredd's troopers spot us. Hang on. We're coming in. All right, people, keep it tight. If we get separated, we'll meet back at the jump ship in one hour. Our suits won't protect us from this acid fog any longer than that. Affirmative, Captain. All right, pilot, cover me. Uh, pilot, while you're at it, cover me too. Nice place. Yeah, for what, a monster movie? Scout. What do you got, Captain? Dread Information Station. Should we steer clear? Wish we could, but there's no time. Tap into it and find the safest route to the contact area. Careful, the hollow field will be unpredictable in this gunk. I'll do what I can. Don't worry about me. Just be ready. Almost got it, Captain. Get them out of sight, fast. You think they had time to alert the others? I don't hear any sirens. Got it. South by southwest. No units there. We'll hit our rendezvous point at about three clicks. All right, let's move. You have the information I require? Yes, my lord. We have correlated reports of powers appearances for one day, 47, 9, Mark 3. These appearances took place over a period of only three hours. Your data is accurate. Interesting. And physically impossible unless... No. Stuart Power didn't have the technology for teleportation. There's nothing of interest, my lord. We've lost contact with two of our troopers in Darktown. Probably gone rogue like the others. Do not be so quick to assume what is of interest to me. And proceed with your analysis. That's the contact area. Right through that laser gate. 
restricted zone. Pilot, take it out. Thought you said Dredd had no units here. Hmm, probably a rogue. The acid fogs toughen the circuits, fouls their programming. Very dangerous. Terrific. This reminds me of an old song, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. Do us a favor, don't sing it. Even the signal's coming in now, Captain. Straight ahead, two clicks. At least now I understand why our contact picked this area. You have to be crazy to come here. Which would explain why they picked us. Let's just find our Eden 2 contact and get out of here. And fast. Picking up readings, Captain. All around us, there's hundreds of those things in here. And I think we just woke them up. Funny way to find a place called Eden. All right, keep close. Let's move. My lord, we have received further word from Darktown. Uh, probes indicate intruders in the quarantine sections. It could be Powers team. Could be? We cannot be certain. It then be certain! Uncertainty is not of the machine. Logic dictates it must be power. Few others could withstand the acid fog. Have you acted? My lord. Yes, I am that. And you would do well not to forget it. Go, bring power to me. Maximum speed to sector 19 cross reference beta. Take the most direct route. No diversions or delays this time, Blastar. Of course, my lord. All systems. <laughs> Assets eating away everything. Either we find this place in the next 15 minutes or... Captain, readings are getting stronger here. P Pilot! Hey! You all right? Yeah. There's one thing I hate, it's a grabby robot. Signal leads here, Captain. What is this? A wild ghost chase? Uh, don't you mean goose? 
Welcome, Captain. I'm John. I have heard much of you and your friends. It's an honor to meet you at last. Well, thanks. To be honest, I was beginning to think you weren't real at all. <laughs> I'm real, Captain. As is Eden, too. Feel free to remove your armor if you like. I have taken steps to protect this small area from the acid fog. Thanks. But I think we'll keep the armor. No offense. None taken. When you come to Eden, too, perhaps we'll fit you with one of these. Completely impervious to acid, heat, cold, even small arms. It's a new process they developed. Yeah, it made all the papers. Still, if it is true, it's the first non-dread technology we've seen since the Metal Wars. Your troops are assembled. Initiate search mode. Sweep thy sectors. I will take one squadron. My lord, logic systems reacting strange, strangely. I hadn't expected this. Sauron tolerated the acid fog without trouble, but apparently your biomechanisms are more sensitive thanks to power's interference during your birthing. It might be better to withdraw. Negative. If power is here, I will find him and destroy. My systems are pure, my lord. This data crystal contains a new addition to the Underground Railroad, to Eden 2. Eden 2. We keep hearing that name. But what is it? Do you remember the legend of Shangri-La? A place where all that was finest and noblest in the human spirit was kept safe through times of darkness? That, my friends, is Eden 2. John, a woman named Vi. Do you know her? Of course. She came to us recently. She speaks often of you, Hawk. She hopes to see you soon. Troopers, acid. Assume stay sons assume. Prepare. It would be a lot easier for us to believe in you if you would just tell us where Eden Two is. We can tell no one from the outside of our location, not even you, Captain. As much as we admire your work and your father's, he was a great help to one of our... Parting gift, Captain. We shall meet again. What the? Sooner than you think. Hawk, get that nut! You two know what to do! Go! Looking for me, boys? Ouch! Blast on! I'll distract him! You two hook up with Hawk and get out of here! Garbage 
as I suspected, it is the acid fog. Leave the area at once before it damages your primary biomech system. Let the troopers finish them off. like he drank too much of this acid soup. Yeah, I hope he chokes on it. That makes two of us. Let's get out of here now. Something to drink, my friend. Mm. A real orange. I haven't seen a real orange in five years. <laughs> cool water, warm soil, clean air. <laughs> It's real. Mm. Oh. Forget hydroponics. This was grown in the earth. I can tell. Good, clean soil. <laughs> Eden 2 is real. Mm. It has to be. This is Captain Power. I'm closing in on Dredd. Watch for base stations. Visibility down. Going to scanning systems. Activated. Check energy levels. We took a few hits, but we've still got plenty of power. Energy systems full. Hold on. I'm gonna blow this baby. <laughs> <laughs> 